beautiful people it is sherry molten back with another video my crown keeps slipping hope you're having an amazing day hope you enjoyed my mold making video i feel bad i was everything i tried it just went downhill i had the washi tape on there i had some um puffy paint on the either side of it and I put my hand in it both of them so that's why it started off with the washi tape and then I jumped into <laughs> so I had to pull it off wipe it off by then I was getting frustrated so I just carried on with the other one so sorry about that and just like I said it is what it is my beautiful people so today I hope you're having an amazing Sunday um, it's a bling bling day but not a real bling bling we are going to do another one of these, uh, the right side up. I'm doing this, like I said, I'm getting ready for a show. So I'm wanting to do a few more different pieces because I've got a lot of bling blings. I don't need them made, but I will make them for you because I'm going to keep doing my videos. But I just thought I needed this done because it's next week. So I am going to get all my stuff together. So we're going to do this and I'm going to explain a little more when I bring you down because I found some neat things. So with that, go get a cup of coffee, go get yourself a drink. I know this is gonna be a little later again on Sunday because this is Sunday right now as I'm doing this. So um, yeah, grab yourself something to eat, drink, and I will be right back, my friends. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the same colors on the background because I loved how they turned out. So I've got them sitting here and it is on the same size canvas. It is a 10 by 20 inch. These are Michael's um, value pack. They are push pinned and taped and ready to go. But I just wanted to share with you. I um, I used to toll paint. My mom and I had a store. So we used to teach. We used to sell products. We used to do all that fun and loving stuff. And in my brain, I was sitting there this morning and I'm like, why in the more why did I not think of this before so I have all of these amazing toll painting books that have a basic pattern that you trace and then you elaborate on them so this is what I did today beautiful flower we're gonna do it all with the glue and we might possibly come in here with the glitters like um, with different stuff. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you how I trace. Well, I'm going to show you how, but I'm not going to show you how. I'm not going to do it for you. So this is my light, light board I purchased. And I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to show you because it makes it so much easier. <clears throat> and you don't have to buy this, my friends. I'm not trying to sell you everything in under the sun. So don't think that that's the type I am. I'm just trying to show you different ways to do things that might be easier for you. So this is a light board. You tap it and it goes different. You put this on. Now the reason that you, with most of these that you use, they're double-sided. So there's different ones like this would be adorable to do. So I chose the flower because it was simple. It was kind of quick. I take it like this. I put my tracing paper over it and I traced it with a, um, I just actually, I didn't, couldn't find a pencil. So I just used a very fine Sharpie. So you could put it up on your window. If you have a nice bright window, tape the picture that you want onto the window, tape a piece of tracing paper over top of that so that your products are staying nice together and um, you're, it's not gonna shift on you so you'll have a constant um, trace, which is kind of cool. So I don't know why I didn't think of this before. So you know what, this is gonna be a sneak peek. We're gonna do this fella. Minus this, but I think this would be adorable. So anyways, but today, this is what we're doing. This is the tracing paper I used. Pretty sure I got this from Michaels. I've had it for a long, long time. Um, and if your piece is bigger than the tracing paper, cut two pieces together 
tape them together, sorry, and then proceed to do your um, tracing. So that's how I got to this first stage. So with that, I'm gonna take off this amazing sweater because it is warm today for some reason. And I have this, and I'm gonna show you. I have this mother glue gun, huge. Got it from Walmart. This is just the dollar store one. And then I purchased this a long time ago. I've got it plugged in so I could maybe try it today. This is a pen. I got this from Michaels as well. And it takes the little glue sticks. So I don't know, I might try it. If I don't like it, I'll switch it back to this little guy. So maybe I'll plug them both in and then we'll we'll see which one works better so this one's already plugged in so i'm going to set him here and this guy is good now this one's good because the oh here it is right here i was mentioning about the wax this is wax it's not glue so this is what you would use to to put um a seal oh my goodness i'm sorry i know people complain when i open something up but this is what you would use to make a seal on like an envelope so that is cool because it fits into the glue gun you're not going to get all these stragglies and all that fun stuff now again it's i got it off of i got it off of amazon and it might be a little pricey for some but i thought i'm going to try it and i think i'm going to try it with that santa claus so if it works we'll just see how much we use too right that's the big the big thing i'm getting glue everywhere my friends so let's get this big guy out of the way because we're not using him today but i wanted to show you there's different different kinds this one here is such a i find this part here is hard because it it doesn't move and it gets in the way so i'm gonna plug this one in as well just in case i might want to switch if i don't like the new one that i'm gonna try all right let's get this plugged in get it all going put it up there so it ain't gonna fall on me have a sip of my mother load coffee and here we go my friends so i have this down Woo! and there is glue on this already so we're going to trace this onto our canvas and i don't want it to start you could have it at the bottom but I think it's kind of nice to bring it up a little bit so it's kind of in the center. This and this. Even it out. And I'm going to um, tape it down just a little. I got tape here. We'll use the piece that's over here. So I'm just going to tape it on the corners just so it doesn't slide around on me when I'm trying to when I'm trying to trace it. So we'll put that one there, one, one there. And then I'm gonna grab my tracing paper. You can buy various colors of tracing paper. Um, but I have this one, we're gonna use the black. And I can link this one as well. It came from Amazon, it has various colors because what if you're using a black painting? That's what I we used to do when I was toll painting. If you had like a black piece, you needed something that colored on there that was not black. So that's when it came in handy to have colored. So there we go. I'm going to rip that there. And we're going to slide this in here. And what I like to do, everyone's different, but what I like to do is I like to do it with a pen as opposed to something else. And look at that, it's always gonna be blingy, my friends. So I'm just gonna trace it all out. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop you so I can fast forward you as I'm tracing. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we traced it all. And as you've seen, I shifted up as I was working. 
and I like using the pen on it because then I can see where I've traced. So hopefully the tracing paper worked and it did by the looks of it. Let's see what we got here, my friends. Perfect. That is perfect. So now we're going to use the glue gun. Now, I want to emphasize here because it is, it is um, folded over and kind of want to emphasize here because again, it's folded over and here like it's folded over and this flower is here is folded over and here because you kind of want to make that. I think you want to make these ones just a little longer or a little thicker and this didn't quite match up so we can just do that and there we go so I'm gonna I don't know which one to use <gasps> this one scares me I don't know what this does we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> all right I think it might be easier for me to work this way. So I might bring you in and bring you down just so you can see. I know it's white on white on white with glue. So that's going to be a hard one to see. But I thought if I bring you in a little closer there. So we're going to start down here. And again, like I said, I might be switching, my friends, because I don't know about this one. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, the pump action is weird for me, so we're going to go back to <laughs> the normal glue gun. Oh my goodness. All right, creature of habit, right? Let me just, oh, that hurt. I just took off the whole clump off the end. All right, there I get this in my hand. And here we go, guys. We're just gonna trace out what we have um, done here. Oh, we missed half of it. Okay, you know what? Let me start again because I want this to be right. I'm going to piece this off. And this is so thick down here. I think we can piece that together and I'm gonna, I don't have to figure out how to cut these off. I don't know. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't allow me to get in close. All right, here we go. This one isn't. Okay. Now let me get let me get this and maybe this can help me connect the two. space I don't care if there's stuff on here it's all going to get painted so
just going to outline and then we'll come back in and do some of the detailed lines if that's possible. And it's kind of hard to see. hard for me to see going that way so I'm going to flip it this way maybe it'll work better I don't know guys all right perfect let me get this one Awesome. Yeah, this works better because I can actually see where I'm going. So that's good. All right. So let's get this leaf. Start at the top. I'm just going to do that. There. And then we're going to do <clears throat> this one. The glue goes better as you're going. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like it's working better for me now compared to when I first tried. I want to make sure I can get, there we go. Oh, I'm going to put, you're in there all. Okay, I'm going to grab them. Oh, start off fresh. We're going to do the stem of the flower and then we'll do the, I'm going to flip it this way, guys. I know just so I can get at the, the flower. Kind of good to work from one side to the other. Doing all these little ones first because they eventually join to this one and then this one will cover because it's the one that you see in the beginning and at the front. And I'm going to do this part here that's flipped over and then start from down here. And then get this last bigger petal. 
start here. Make sure that they join where the other petals are. And on the bottom. And then this last leaf part, because that's part of that leaf. Perfect. Oh, I don't know about the, the lining in there now. So I'm going to attempt to... all of that. Get these little lines off that I do not want. All these little wiggly squigglies. going to take my little knife because I don't want there's a one right here that I want to make sure I get it off so I'm going to go level with the canvas because I don't want that to pop up And shake it off. Let's see if it's out of there. Perfect. There's no raised bit there. I can see a little bit here. I think that's good. So now what I'm going to do is come in and oh, I just don't want to ruin it now at this point and just do some of the lines. I'm not doing all of them that are in here for the just the texture on the leaves. So I'm going to do this big one. Maybe a couple little ones here. One more here, maybe. Do a couple here. Perfect. I'm going to do a couple on this guy. If I can. Or even just one or two, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be extravagant, just enough to give it some texture. And we're going to do a little here. And just a couple here. I'm going to have to cut these little things off, I tell you. All right, so I want to start here. The bigger ones, you can get away with putting them in. But you don't want one big blob of glue, right? Put another stick in here. And here we go. And I might go off of where I put them, just so that they're not, like I said, one big clump. And a little one here. Oh, my glue stick fell in. That's it. Maybe one here. There. 
Perfect. All right. So I'm going to un <laughs> unplug the glue guns. The glue guns. All right. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got no little squigglies. Just gonna take my little knife and make sure I got no. I don't want any. Someone mentioned about, I don't know if it was a blow dryer using it, but my thing is I don't want it to glue in the middle of where I, I don't want glue. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Like this one here. It's gonna affect the paint, right? That I'm gonna blow dry on. Right in here. Let's get that. I'm just gonna cut that little without cutting my oh my goodness that's hilarious I'm getting a shadow from and I apologize the sun is out again guys and again I can't do nothing about the sun it is beautiful I think that's it awesome okay So there we go. Oh, one more piece there. And like I said, I don't care. There's little bits of dirt there, but that is perfect. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys about the, I have a um, shutter on my window. <laughs> so that's why you're getting all the lines. Okay. So we're going to get into the paint. So I'm going to move my glue sticks out of the road so I don't paint them. And I have, we're going to do the same colors because I think these are going to be pretty because I like them in the last one. So this is the Artist Loft Deep Green and it's got a mix also with the Liquidex Hookers, Liquidex Bases Hookers Green. So this is a mix paint and these are all my Dutch pour mixes. So I will link my video on how to make the Dutch pour, the Dutch pour, <laughs> my Dutch pour mixing video. Oh my goodness. So this one's Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. It's got a pretty gold hue to it. This one is Modern Masters Metallic Apple Green. And this one is Deco Arts Metallics Festive Green. So I'm gonna give them all a quick little shake. And I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna bring you back just a tad. And I'm gonna bring you out just out just a little so you can see everything I'm doing here. Alright, if I remember correctly, this one. The lid isn't working, so I'm just going to take it right on off because I'm a rebel without a cause. So, getting excited and nervous. I haven't done a sale in, well, like I said, this one's been purchased for th three years ago, so I'm kind of excited to, to do this and kind of neat. Oh. There we go. I get my blow dryer all hooked up. I unplugged it for the... And make sure it's not all twisted. There we go. Using my Drew Barrymore blow dryer. Thanks again, Sandra. All right, let's go. And here we go. We're just going to throw it on. I'm going to put all these other colors first and then possibly the dark on top. Anywhere everywhere. I see in this one's clogged now. <laughs> and you want coverage everywhere. And then this guy. And then I'm going to 
come back in with some more of the lighter green. I know it's a lot of paint, but I like the effect of it. It's kind of pretty. And you kind of want to blow it with the way the flowers are going. Like you wouldn't blow it this way because the flower is this way, right? So you want it to blow with the flower. So let's see if we can get her going. I'm going to put this on high, guys. I'm just going to add paint as I'm going um, because I want it to completely cover the edging as well. So I'm going to try and do the sides as I'm going. And I'm blowing it all off. I want it as much of it off as I can. So you want just a small amount of paint on there. off my hand first and we're gonna as you can see I blowed most of all of that paint off because you don't want it to pool inside where you want the glue to stick out does that make sense I hope that makes sense what I said 
All right. I'm in love with the colors. I just want to make sure all my sides are covered first before I get doing anything else. And I'm going to, pardon my, I'm going to come in front here. I want to make sure you guys can see this side, but I want to make sure it's all done. There we go. And my bottom corner here. Perfect. Because on the other one, I have to patch up the edges because I didn't get the edges all quite right. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to put my lids on, my containers, and wipe everything up. And I'll be back when this is dry. I might actually, give me one second. And I'm thinking I'm going to put um, some Q-tips here. Let's see if we can... Oh, I don't want to goof it too much. No, I think I'm going to leave it because you can see... You can see, I just don't know if my glue is thick enough, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, so I'm going to let it dry, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hello, I am back. So, this took so long to dry yesterday, so I apologize that Sunday's video is now on Monday. So, I came down, and I was thinking about what to do because this one I used the um, the Arteza gold paint. Took my finger. You saw me painstakingly do that. But I wanted to find something that would be a little easier to do. So I have these paint pens. I bought these when I was doing my geode. So these are Deco Color Premium Premium Primo <laughs> Premium Premium Premium. Um, I bought these from Michaels. So this one is the, um, I have two of them. This one is the chiseled edge. So I thought we'll try that. And I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I already tested it a little, like look at that. It actually looks like gold leaf, which is pretty cool. So I just wanna prime it and I'm just gonna prime it right down here on that. And you wanna make sure there's lots on it, ready to go. And I'm just going to follow my lines. Oh, I'm going to put my hand in the paint, which is still wet. Too funny. All right, let's just go on here. If you prime it really, really good, it just comes off like liquid gold, which is even better than... I'll prime it a bit more. And this is cool. I like this better than the other one. It actually looks like gold leaf. That is ridiculous. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna turn it just a tad. I'm pretty sure you're still in there. And we're just gonna work our way all around all of these glue marks. All right, did some veins in here. Just wanna make sure I highlight everything. goodness this is so easy let's start there I'm just gonna do a little bit here I missed Tip here. 
<sighs> I should have worked the other way and I'm going to flip it so I can, oh, hopefully I don't goof it up. That is so freaking cool. So yeah, I'm going to work this way. Make sure I don't drip it. That's my big thing here. This is so much easier. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Okay, prep a little bit because here's a little clumpy, so I want to make sure I get all that where the glue all met. is so cool. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right. I'm missing a couple little spots here and there. Um, I'm going to come back and see if I can get them off, but if not, I'm I'm a little content with it. Just because this method's so much easier. And you saw I'm working this way down so I don't put my hand in it, which could very well happen, you know. That's another line. It's kind of hard to see some of them. My glue lines aren't as prominent, so that might be something to work on. But 
I just love this. I'm going to try to get in here. There's this little cluster here. Just to make sure it's covered. There, awesome. A little bit here. I played a little just to try it, so I was a little nervous down here. So I'm going to touch up where I tried it out to start with. And you just want to make sure that, like I said, there's lots of paint coming out. That is cool. Okay, I'm going to put my lid on this. And we're going to take a Q-tip and see if I can get where some of these might not be as clean. And you know what? I'm leaving it because it makes it dull and it looks prettier the way it is. So there's a different way to do it. We have this amazing, like, I don't know if you can see the difference. I can see a big difference. The shininess of each one, I prefer this one. That is ridiculous. Craziness. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, my friends, I'm gonna put them both up on my rack behind me. I'm gonna give you a close up and I'll be right back. There you go. Don't know if you can see the difference or not, but I hope so. So I'm gonna come in close. I love both. I love the background of this one a little better up at the top. It's really cool. This one I like as well. It's more so the cool is at the bottom. So I'm going to come in close with this and see. Like that looks just like molten gold. Like you just melted gold. It's just very cool. I'm impressed with it. And of course, you always have to sign. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. There you go, my beautiful people. And I don't know if you can see the difference. Let me bring them just a little closer. Like, like I don't know if you can see the difference. But they're both gorgeous. So, those are two. Now, we're going to do one more of these this week. So, please don't be upset with me. I have something planned. Um... As some of you may know, my husband is ex-military and I have something planned for Remembrance Day using this method. So we're going to try one more method. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I apologize for it being a little late. The drying times, I tell you guys. So with that, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing to my channel. It will help me out a lot. Um, and if you like the video, please give it a share and hit that bell up in there for notifications when I get my next video. And um, as always, everything will be listed in the description box that I use. And here's my long-ended spiel. So with that, in the description box, I have the links to where to purchase um, Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I have the link to um, Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I have the links also for Crystal Resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And I have my two amazing La Res distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. She's got much more than La Res. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the last but not least, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, my American La Res distributor. Go check out her website. 
um, use my discount code of all capital letters Sherry Moulton 10 and with that I have my Amazon links which I'm an affiliate with and my PayPal if you choose to donate and help support my channel so with that being said my people I will see you in the next one love you guys bye